Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Ronald and I would like to explain how to get started with Coolify as quickly as possible. In this video, uh, I'm going to go for the cloud version instead of the self-hosted version. I have a video on the self-hosted version. Uh, it's, it's somewhere here. And um, yeah, let's get started. There's two things we need to, to go. Is uh, One is the Coolify cloud. I already just paid that. But here's the pricing, which it is right now, this time. Uh, you get for $5 two servers and free email notifications and email support. So that's number one that you need. Uh, number two is you need a server. So uh, I'm going to the Heston Cloud. In my previous videos, I've used two servers over here. But for this video, I'm going to create a new environment, new project and uh, creating a server in there. So in Hestner, uh I say, okay, add a server. I'll be placing it somewhere uh, close by where I'm living. Uh, in my case, it's Falkenstein. I'm keeping this as Ubuntu. Uh, putting this on this one. But I mean, you have you have lots of freedom to, to do so with other kinds of options, but this is what I'm choosing. Uh, as long as you get an SSH key, we're all good. And that can be also with any other type of hosting provider. You can always scale it up and down, uh, so there's not really a problem with it. Um, you can also go right away for something bigger, it, but that's all dependent on your needs. If you don't know, get started somewhere low, uh, either this one or this one, and get going. So keeping this all selected. Uh, I'm going to go without an SSH key. Uh, I'm going to create this within Coolify itself. Okay, go, go, go. I can do uh, backups over here of the server. Um, those backups are then made by Hessner. I cannot have them on my own hard drive, so that's a little bit of a thing with this. But if you really want to keep things simple, this is a good option to do so. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to keep this off. All right, made my selections, create and buy. Okay, um, and so it's created. Uh, I'm getting my IPv4 address, which we will need uh, later on. I, I paid the $5 subscription, and once I paid, I get to see this. Welcome to Coolify. So let's get started. Uh, what is Coolify? Uh, okay, next. Uh, no, create one for me. I like to keep the, the name of the private key the same as the server on, on Hessner. Adding private key to it, just for myself. And um, what I'll need to do now is I need to add this public key to the uh, server, to the SSH authorization keys file. So let's do that. If you're not familiar with it, this is the terminal. Um, you can open this up over here. And with the terminal, we can do things like logging into the server. And this is something we need to do to get this set up in Coolify. But once it's set up, there's not that much to do with the terminal anymore. So um, it's something to get through. So we get back to over here. So we can see the IP4 address. And uh, right now in the terminal, uh, we're on my computer, Ronald at Share Wisdom, that's the name of my computer. And what we'll need to do is we need to uh, log into the server. So SSH minus L root. So root is the username. And minus L is to show the list right after we finish this. And SSH is to log in. And so we're saying log in, show me the list with the username root on the IP address 88. 198140191. We hit enter. Uh, it asks, like, it's not known. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. 
Now I need to fill in the password. I just received that by email because I did not give any uh, SSH key in Hetzner. So I'm going to check my email and paste this password inside here. Okay, paste in the password, command V. Um, you don't see anything change. That's the terminal thing. Um, the stuff you need to get a little bit used to. Um, now it's asking me to fill in the password again. So I just hit command V again, hit enter, and I need to set up a new password. Now I'm inside the uh, root Coolify cloud server. That's the name that we gave it. Now I need to fill in two commands uh, because we have an Ubuntu server. I need to do apt get update. This one is very quickly. And another one that takes a little bit more time. You know if something's ready, if you see your server again. So root at Coolify cloud server. Now I know, okay, I can type something again. That's something good to know when you're getting started with the terminal. apt get upgrade. Hit enter. Uh, yes, continue. Uh, here I uh, escape my way out using yeah, the escape key on the keyboard. And once this is done, uh, apt get install mc. mc stands for midnight commander. And with midnight commander, uh, do you want to continue? Yes. With a midnight commander, we can do adding adding something to the server in a terminal. Uh, it's saying, okay, outdated libraries, uh, should we get restarted? I'm escaping my way out of it. And now I'm going to do cd, stands for change directory, space dot ssh. So uh, go to that uh, f f hidden folder, uh, which is called uh, ssh. Uh, and I'm typing in MC, so that stands for Midnight Commander to open it up. So I hit enter, MC enter, and I get to see this blue screen. I see authorized keys, and I do one arrow down. I hit enter, and enter is not doing anything because I need to do the, uh, the this action, the edit, and the four is for F4, and on my Mac I need to press uh, FN and then the F4. I get into this. Uh, we're going for the nano editor. One, hit enter. And now we're inside the empty file with authorized keys in which we are going to paste this thing from Kudify. So over here, the public key, copy. And hit paste. And it doesn't show the whole thing. If you really want to double check everything, you can go all the way to the left and see more things appearing, or you can make your screen bigger and more things start to appear. It's a little bit clumsy in the, the terminal, all these kind of things, but yeah, you can assume that it's pretty good once you see the last keys of it that are the same. So uh, S has H dash key, so yes, it's great. Now we need to exit, so here it says, uh, Control X, so I'm going to press that. Control X, save modified buffer, yes, uh, and I hit enter, and now it is added to this file. Now we can just close this, terminate the window, and over here we can hit save. I like to call this Coolify Cloud Server, the same as in Hetzner, uh, and we need to give it the IP address. Go over here, hit paste. I've read things about Cloudflare Tunnel. I think it's a good thing to look into, uh, but for now that's, that's a level too high for me at this time, so I'm keeping this off. Hit continue. And now I'm going to validate and configure the server, yes. And we're going to let this thing do its thing. And that's it. You can now start installing uh, applications for your own things, databases. For beginners, I highly recommend to start out with the services, as you can see over here. And there's a lot of cool services that you can get started with. I made a lot of tutorials on that also, for some specifically how to do that. I hope you've found this tutorial helpful. 
thank you for your time have a great day and see you in the next video bye